Wild camping to me is like a comparison to real life. Getting to the top is tough. You have to be committed and have a clear goal. But no matter how meticulously you plan your trip, there will still be unexpected obstacles. You will sweat, carry a lot of weight on your shoulders and maybe get close to your limits. Once you reach your destination, it will all have been worth it. My name is Matt and in this video I will take you along on a camping trip with me and my friend Michael. So let's start at the beginning. We both had approximately 17 kilograms on our shoulders and were at the bottom of our hike. 10 kilometers and an increase of 1000 meters in altitude divided us from our destination and it was already late afternoon. All in all, it seemed a bit intimidating. But your present circumstances do not determine where you can go. They just determine where you start. And we wanted to get to our camping spot in time for sunset. The hike under time pressure was strenuous. I was constantly thinking about the cable car that would have taken us up there without any physical effort. But surprisingly, the more effort you have to put into reaching your goal, the bigger the satisfaction when you actually reach it. A view you had to climb to will always be better than the exact same view you simply paid for to get there. And that is true for most things in life. Without effort, no try. In most parts of Switzerland, wild camping above the tree line is allowed. Naturally, you won't find a lot of firewood up there. That's why it's a good idea to bring your own firewood and look for sticks as long as there are still some. Time was moving fast and we had to hurry, but things started to get a bit hairy. All of a sudden, we found ourselves in front of a seemingly unsurmountable rock face. We had no equipment for climbing, but if we wanted to reach our camping spot in time, we had to risk it. But sometimes, when everything seems overwhelming, all you need is a little shift in perspective. The way we choose to see the world creates the world we see. We reached our spot just in time to set up the tent and started our little brai. The view was insane! This is what I call freedom, away from the hassle of everyday life, offline in pure nature, just with a tent, a sundowner in best company, today we had earned it. Just by pure chance we had picked the night of full moon, and that's how I ended up with this awesome long exposure shot of our camping spot at night. The next morning we got up quite early and headed back to the fan and sea. This is one of the best places to get a cup of coffee. If you like coffee, because this guy doesn't. Mm. I had visited this place already in winter and spring this year on several occasions. It is one of my favorite places in Switzerland and only one of many perfectly situated guest houses in the Alpstein region. Unfortunately, wild camping will sooner or later be banned in this area because of a few idiots that don't know how to leave a wild camping spot behind. But luckily, with all the guest houses in this region, the alternatives are numerous and beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this clip. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and more importantly, never ever leave trash behind and respect nature. Stay awesome.